For the past 10 hours, I've been driving this Corvette around the same track over and over again just to get 3.5 million credits, which we can now spend on anything we want. And the interesting thing is, I haven't looked at the car list yet. And while we make our way to the festival, I'm, I'm gonna be cheeky here because I have a physical like list of Horizon 5 video ideas that I really want to share. So if you haven't subscribed yet, which you probably have, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. Horizon 5 is gonna be dope. But now we're gonna jump into the festival just to see what we can buy. This is not gonna end well. This is, I, I, I don't think I have enough credits. Aston Martin Valhalla concept car. So it's, I think it's still the V6 version. I need it. Oh, already. Oh, 500 XX Evo. Tempting, tempting to see if it's still the fastest car in the game. 2.6 million is a hefty price though. So we're not gonna, I, I wanna pick a new car, right? Well, there goes 2.5 million credits. <laughs> can you can you smell it? Can you smell the drag strip records tumbling? Because this is stock. AMG one. 2.7 million. That's a little bit too much. Maybe down the line, if I find some more time to grind out that one race, I'm just gonna blast through the rest of the car list. There's still some cars missing, especially the Force Edition cars, which we're gonna we're gonna take a look at those in a different video as well, because those are absolutely nuts. Uh, especially in terms of customization. Like the fourth edition cars are gonna be naughty. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Now the stats on the Valhalla are already insane. So I'm not expecting too many upgrades. Actually, ooh. Okay, so there are no visual upgrades, which kind of makes sense. But we've got an engine upgrade. We've got, oh, we've got weight reduction as well. Have we got drag tires? All sorts of time. I don't want to jump into the upgrade straight away, right? Uh, we want to test the car while it's still stock. Not the greatest launch, but oh, I pulled. Come on. Ooh, it's gonna be. Ooh. All right, time to test the new tire smoke. We've got enough space right here. Come on, Valhalla. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so much better than before. They finally improved the tire smoke in the Forza game. We're gonna see what's really possible in our little tiny Aston Martin Valhalla. We're gonna go nuts on the upgrades which is hopefully not going to be too expensive because I still have to buy the Lotus. But yeah, upgrades and tuning. Here we go. Custom upgrades. What have we got? Now, first of all, we're going to do the weight reduction first. So how low can we go? 1,200 kilos. That's ridiculously light for a hybrid all-wheel drive hypercar. We're going to pick that one. Uh, springs, we've got... Yeah, we're gonna keep the stock springs, which I guess are the racing springs. That would make sense. Uh, what else have we got? Ge oh, how many race transmission? Six, eight speed, nine speed, ten speed. That's a pretty cool feature. Thank you, Forza. <laughs> That's really unexpected. Uh, we're gonna go for the. Oh, they're oh they're heavier as well. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. Race transmission. I mean, we're gonna go for the... We're not gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna need... We're gonna go for the six-speed. Um, we're not gonna need more. Engine upgrade. Here we go. Okay, so right now we've got 1,042 horsepower. Oh, oh, that is naughty. Look at the power-to-weight ratio. It's almost one-to-one -one in a all-wheel drive hybrid. Come on. Race tires. I mean, which ones are we gonna pick? We're gonna um top speed 400. <laughs> 1.3. Oh, there's so many tire compounds. I mean, off-road tires is a no-go. On a that, that that just looks wrong. <laughs> We're not gonna pick the off-road tires. Snow tires with spikes. Tempting, tempting. Are we gonna go exploring the giant volcano? We're gonna go with the racing slick. That's a new tire compound though, right? That's a new tire compound for Horizon. We're gonna pick that one, just out of curiosity. 
Um, yep, yeah, we're gonna make the tires wider. We are already up in way up into X class. Oh yeah. Well, well. Um, I've got a list of all the bugs I've seen so that they can, you know, I'm gonna submit them and hopefully they can fix those bugs before the game comes out. So we're gonna put that one on the list. <laughs> I mean, 400 top speed is pretty impressive for a car with that. Oh, speaking of downforce. Speaking of downforce, how fast could we go if we just, you know, just, just move it a little bit further down? Just a little bit. Just, mm, there we go. 400 and, ooh. There we go. Okay, 433 top speed. And just because we finally can, we're going to paint the brake calipers. Yellow is probably the way to go. I mean, we could make them red. Oh, what else have we got? Actually, there's so many. Oh, we can finally paint them. Finally. Finally. Here we are in our fully upgraded and drop dead gorgeous Aston Martin Valhalla. And now that we are fully upgraded and we've got all the power and all the fury we can have, I'm finally gonna, I'm gonna attempt that one danger sign jump, which was just bugging me for the last few days. That one right here, because it's at the end of the longest drag strip in the game. And at the very end of that drag strip, there's a giant ramp and you have to hit 680 meters to get three stars, which I just couldn't do in my previous cars. It was just not fast enough. Okay, that's kind of buggy. I'm gonna write that down as well. Again, this is still a pre-release version, so you have to keep that in mind. There are still some bugs that need to be fixed before the game comes out, but that's why, you know, we're making a list of all the bugs that are in the game. Um, I found a couple. And yeah, hopefully they're gonna be fixed before the game launches. And you can already see the drag strip on the map. It is, I think it's the longest one. The tarmac looks really rough. It's completely smooth. Like it's completely smooth. It just looks a bit, you know, roughed up, but it's a perfectly fine drag strip. Let's back it up all the way, all the way. Maximize the runway in our fully maxed out Aston Martin Valhalla. This is gonna be nuts. Come on. Ah, oh, oh, that acceleration is just evil. 250, 270, 300 already. Come on. Oh no. I forgot to change the aero settings. No! I think we have way too much downforce. I'm gonna try it anyway. Come on, come on, come on. 680 meters for this. 680 is all we. Oh my god, we're gonna land in the water. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're gonna try again because I forgot to change the tuning settings, I think. Tune car, aero, yeah, we're running full aero. Might wanna change that for the danger sign jump. <laughs> we're gonna try again. That's gonna be the run. 680 meters is all we need. Come on, Valhalla, come on. 350, 360, 370, already going way faster than before. Can we crack 400 before the jump? No way. Please, please, please. 680. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. It's so long. That's what she said. Um. Yeah, the highway is just, I mean, it's not dead flat, like it's up and down and there's slight bends, but if you have a car and you're going for a top speed run, you, you, you're gonna max out. Like, it is so much longer than the one in Horizon 4. And the bends are also, like, you can go flat out, you don't even lose speed. And it's just, we're still going. Wait, how, where are we on the map right now? We're like, we're not even halfway. Game so much. <laughs> oh, finally. This is such a relief to finally have a road where you can actually max out every single car. Jesus. I mean, we already hit top speed, so might as well keep going. But yeah, the, I mean, the highway. Oh, look at that. Perfection. Yes. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep now and just wake up and have traffic. Jesus. 
Um, yeah, I mean, the highway is... If that's not long enough, then what kind of car are you driving? And I think I'm gonna leave it there. There is so much more stuff I wanna show you, but I can't just cram it all into a single video. You know, map exploring, the different drag strips, new cars, new car customization, wheel spins, force edition cars. It's all coming in the next few videos. And if you don't wanna miss them, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Every time I see that sub count go up by one, I'm like, yes. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.